What's going on guys, this is Ben from Nolan TCG, and we are back with November's deck challenge, which will be Rescue Ferret FTK. So this was the winner of last month's poll on the Blackwing video. So remember, like always, you can comment down below the deck that you want to see next month, the options will be in the description, and then we'll put them together and see how they go. So this month, it is Rescue Ferret FTK, so this, this week, uh, this month, sorry, will be a little bit different to normal, so we're going to do a little bit of a combo at the end of this just to show off what the actual FTK is, but it's essentially just Resolve Rescue Ferret under Sayuja, off to the races you go with Tempest Magician. All good, so we'll get into a little bit of a deck profile, and then we'll have the combo at the end. But as always, remember to hit that subscribe button down the bottom if you're new here. These will be going up once every month. We'll also have, like, tournament footage and stuff like that, just the usual. All sweet. So first off, we'll start off with the main deck and the star of the show, which is three copies of Rescue Ferret. So this is the core of the deck. You basically are trying to just draw this off Sayuja and then resolve it to win the game. And then next up, we have the FTK package, which is what makes the whole world go round. We see Blackwing Steam the Cloak, Synchron Carrier, Magicat, uh, Recover and Glow Up Bulb. These are just kind of, if you draw one, you can use the other. So like, they're just kind of general extenders as well. But next off, we have the first of our engines, which is the plant engine, which is three low, three, sorry, three Lone Fire Blossom, three Orpha Scorpio, the Darling Cobra, and the Garnet. Just for your brilliant fusion package, just creates a Sayuja to get you going. Then we have our second Sayuja, which is three Agent of Creation Venus, and the three Mystic Shine Ball. Next up, we have the Perform Ages which is just a Trick Clown, Damage Juggler, and a Hat Tricker. Then we have just some general extenders, three Gillosaurus, and one Junk Forward. This can be anything. This is just in here to be the 40th card. And then our package for a little Dragon Link is just Magna Rocket, Rocket Synchron. These can be any rockets. They don't have to be these specifically. And the Darkness Metal. Then next up we have the spells. Most important one. Three copies of Called by the Grave. Then three copies of Quick Launch, just for your Dragon Package. Then we have the Brilliant Fusion. And the most important card, Desynchro. You can kind of get the vibe of where it's going now. So next off, we have the Extra Deck. So it is pretty Synchro heavy, along with like links to get you to Sayuja. But for the actual FTK, it all revolves around the Synchros, which are Tempest Magician, Hyper Librarian, and Axel Synchron. Then we have a Krishtron Quandax, Martial Metal Marcher, and the Celestial Star Double Shaman. Next off, just for the fusions, it's just uh, one Gem Knight Seraph Knight, just for your Gem Knight package. And then the links are three copies of Saryuja, one Curious, the LP, Link Karibo, Link Spider, and Imduk. They're just for your general packages that make Saryuja. And last up, we just have the side deck. This can always be whatever's good for locals. But I just kind of figured I'd put in a lot of cards just for going second in different situations. So, starting off, there's three Nibiru if you're playing against the big board deck. Uh, three Twin Twisters if you're playing against the deck you kind of need Twin Twisters for. Um, then we played Double Mind Control and a Monster Reborn just for like general extender to Sayuja. Then, three Dark Ruler No More just to clear off a board. And then three Red Reboot for your back row decks. So that's it for the profile. Oop. <clears throat> so that's it for the profile remember you can comment down below next month's deck that you want to see uh, the four options will be in the description and as always hit that subscribe button so we can run these things as more of like a channel poll instead of having to like comment on the video and stuff like that but yeah we'll get into a bit of a combo now okay so to start off the FTK you just basically need one way to get to Sayuja and then to draw ferret at some point so for this purposes of this we're just going to open the ferret we won't draw off the Sayuja and stuff like that if you do draw any of your FTK pieces, you're always going to be resolving the Sayuja first, so you can just put them back and then get them back with the Ferret afterwards. And then for the purposes of having a 5 card hand, we just have the 3 copies of Call by the Grave here. Perfect world that would be. But to start us off, you're just going to normal summon your Agent Creation Venus, summon your 3 copies of Shine Ball, then you're going to link one off for a Link Rebo, then link the second one off for the Imduk, then you're just going to link four with these guys for your Sayuja. And then you're off to the races. So you draw your four cards, put three back. Then you're just going to summon, summon the ferret with the effect of Sayuja. Then put the ferret back at the bottom of the deck and summon Steam the Cloak, Magic Cat, and Glot Bulb. 
Then next off, you're just going to Synchro Summon for Axel Synchron. Get your token from Blackwing Steam the Cloak. These are very important. Don't forget your tokens. Then next off, you'll use Axel Synchron, sending Synchron Carrier from Deck to Grave. And then you'll link off your Glow Up Bulb for a Link Rebo. And then use the Once Per Duel effect of Steam the Cloak to tribute your Sayuja to summon itself back to the field. Then next off, you're just going to Link 3 for your Curious. Get your Steam the Cloak token, and Curious will send Desynchro to the grave. Then you mill your three cards. At this point, nothing in deck matters, so you can literally mill anything. Then, next off, we will use the effect of Glow Up Bulb. So, Glow Up Bulb effect, we will mill one card, and then summon itself back to the field. And you will Synchro Summon for the Celestial Double Star Shaman. Then you'll use its effect to summon back your Synchron Carrier to this zone and the Magic Hat to this zone. Then we'll link off with the Double Star Shaman and the token to get the Martial Metal Marcher, which will then use its effect to summon back your Steam the Cloak. Next off, you will link these two. So your Blackwing Steam the Cloak and your Synchron Carrier over to a TG Hyper Librarian and Steam the Cloak will summon you another token. Then you will link uh, Synchro off those two for Christron Quandax. And then we will sync these two for Tempest Magician. And now we've established our FTK because Chainlink 1 will be Tempest Magician, Chainlink 2 will be TG Hyper Librarian, and Chainlink 3 will be the Magic Hat. So Magic Hat will place your Desynchro back on top of the deck as Chainlink 3. Then you will draw the Desynchro off the TG Hyper Librarian and then add the counter with Tempest Magician. Then you just remove a counter, burn for 500, activate your Desynchro, putting back your Tempest Magician, summoning back your Quandax and your Magic Hat. And then you just repeat. So you're just a simple Synchro Summon. Tempest, Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, Chainlink 3, back you go, out we come, and off we go. So yeah, that was the combo tutorial for the FTK. It's pretty standard, it's literally just summon ferret under Sayuja, and you can do this. So hopefully it's not too degenerate for anyone going around that wants to make this better, because I haven't updated this list in a little while. But yeah. I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment down below the deck that you want to see next month for the deck challenge, and have a good afternoon, everyone.